Hello everybody and welcome to the Atlanta Motor Speedway for the 2005 Golden Corral 500 and the fifth race of our 2005 and our 2003 season here. Of course, the last time out we were at the Phoenix Raceway wrapping up our West Coast swing with Kurt Busch dominating the game victory. His teammate now, the rookie, Carl Edwards, will start on the pole position alongside Jimmy Johnson. He's been so strong this season, led laps in the th first three races, got that win at Auto Club Speedway, and now he's going to try to beat Carl Edwards here. Behind them, Greg Biffle, Casey Kane, Mark Martin, Brian Vickers atop six as we are green and underway here in Atlanta. Last season, the two winners were Jimmy Johnson won the playoff race in the fall, and then in the spring of last season in 2004, uh, that victory went to Dale Earnhardt Jr. So we'll see who gets it this time. Johnson once again around the front row. Carl Edwards, Greg Biffle, Mark Barn. Three Roush racing cars lined up on that inside lane. First, third, and fifth right now. Trying to work their way by Jimmy Johnson. As Carl Edwards now clear for the lead here in Atlanta. Trying to lead his first last. There goes Greg Biffle right by on the inside. Here comes the sixth team. His momentum stalls out in the corner. Big run on the outside from Carl Edwards. And to the line, Carl Edwards will lead the opening lap here in Atlanta. Leading his first lap of the season thus far. Biffle second. Mark Martin, Jimmy Johnson fight for third. Vickers and Kane fight behind them for fifth. As he looks throughout the pack here, everyone seems to be keeping it orderly. By the Bonnie, Rusty Wallace, Dale Jr. struggling a little bit. Jeff Gordon not running where he's expected to be running right now, but still, Jimmy Johnson, Mark Martin trying to fight for third. If Mark Martin gets by Jimmy here, that's the Roush 1 2 3, but Jimmy holds him off and he gets his teammate Vickers through as well. At the front, though, Greg Biffle trying to find a way by Carl Edwards to the inside. Biffle goes side by side. Edwards leads that lap now. On to lap three, Greg Biffle wants to take the race lead. He's been very strong all season long as well. Dominated California, didn't quite get the win. Has strong at Vegas and Phoenix leading laps in both of those races but not bringing it home can he finally get one done here racing his teammate Carl Edwards and Jimmy Johnson as Biffle takes the lead away here in Atlanta away from his teammate of Carl Edwards and Biffle will lead the opening three laps here at Atlanta Motor Speedway now on the lap 22 Mark Martin in the sixth leading now Four Roush racing a six car about to put the 31 of Jeff Burton a lap down who is your runner up last episode in Phoenix after that incredible run so close to breaking the winless streak now about to fall a lap down to Mark Martin who's got a full head of steam here how about Vickers in second Kane in third behind them so Mark Martin now puts the 31 of Jeff Burton one lap down here at Atlanta as he goes right by Burton on that inside lane and oh cause your yellow lights are flashing the caution is out on the racetrack something has gone on there's been an incident we gotta find out what happens but here big trouble Rusty Wallace in the two here the huge damage, smoke pouring out the back of that race car. Like Rusty Wallace and Bobby Hamilton collided with an incident here. As I was like, Bobby Hamilton just hops on the apron and unexpectedly just turns head on the outside wall. A hard, hard hit for Bobby Hamilton. Collects Rusty Wallace right there. Nowhere for Rusty to go. Just gets taken out no, through no fault of his own. Now, he hasn't won in a while. He's starting to get back to his seat. Bobby Hamilton just randomly hops off the apron. Some weird glitch there and then goes head on to the wall. For Rusty Wallace just gets collected. They both slam the wall. And both cars, Rusty Wallace, Bobby Hamilton Jr. will be out for the day here in Atlanta. Both have uh, Bobby Hamilton Jr. had a really strong start to the year. It was top 10 in the points. Rusty Wallace was pretty decent, still uh, in the top 20, but not any longer after this crash with Bobby Hamilton. Both guys going to be out after a hard crash here in Atlanta. Takes out Bobby Hamilton and Rusty Wallace. And back to front of the pack. And it's still Roush Racing in control of this race. Mark Martin leading the way. Now on the restart, everyone's stacking up back there. It's Casey Kane and Greg Biffle together on the restart here on lap 60. Casey Kane leads us back to the green. Biffle behind him in second. Of course, Kane looking to try to get his second career win. Yes, first career win last season at Michigan. Trying to return to the playoffs. Made all the way to the round of eight. A very strong playoff run. An incredible rookie season performance from him. Trying to replicate that once again today. And now the mid-pack. Connor Rock goes Michael Waltrip around. Bobby Labonte spinning the outside wall. Ricky Rod car slamming into cars. Five, six, seven cars. And the big one strikes at Atlanta in turn three. Taking out a lot of contenders. Dave Blaney involved. Bill Elliott collected. Kyle Petty, Brian Vickers, Ricky Rudd in it. A huge, huge wreck just erupts here. Jamie McMurray also collected with heavy damage. Tony Stewart's big damage. He was another one of the favorites to run really good today. It was Tony Stewart. Now they are all destroyed here after this three, four wide race. He doesn't go well and takes out a like involves 10 plus cars here. Atlanta. Jeremy Mayfield collects some damage. Jason Leffler gets a piece of it. It's a lot of cars here. We're going to get a replay of what in the world just happened. It looks like Bobby Labonte got together with Michael <clears throat> Michael Waltrip. So 
By the Bonnie was using on Mike Alter their three right, just turns Mikey off a of Shane Meal, then by the Bonnie gets wiped out by Dave Blaney. Sterling Marlin turns Ricky Rudd, which just triggers this huge pileup. Sends the 42 and the 45 round. Tony Stewart nowhere to go, just gets pounded in the wall. Then they're stacking up back here. Nowhere for Bill Elliott or Mayfield to go. Avernham cars destroyed, of course. Leffler gets a piece of Elliott there at the end. Vickers actually does a great job of getting woed up and not really getting any damage there. Very impressive, but a huge crash. I've only got a lot of fast cars here in Atlanta. The big one in stage number one takes out Elliott Mayfield Blaney Petty Stewart and Rudd further ahead more problems a six of Mark Martin is destroyed one of the dominant cars of the day so far huge damage a uh, massive hit from the four Kevin LePage but there was something that definitely preceded that as there was something going on right there, it looks like when Michael Waltrip, remember he was part of it, he goes full throttle, the apron comes right back up the track of a Shane Meal, destroys Meal's car and Mark Martin, and the, nowhere for the six to go, just gets absolutely blindsided here in turn four, hard hit to the outside wall, and Mark Martin's competitive day, with a, definitely a good shot at the win, is over just like that here at Atlanta, and a ton of cars are destroyed. Of course, the four, Kevin LePage doesn't know how to drive and just slammed right in the back of Mark Martin. And a lot of good cars are out of this race. So a massive wreck causes all sorts of chaos here in Atlanta as Casey Kane leads Greg Biffle. Now, Joe Nemechek and Mike Bliss will lead us back to the green flag here on lap 71. Bliss gets the advantage of the line. You got Kevin Harvick right there behind him, Jeff Gordon, Jamie McMurray, Jeff Green. Everyone trying to get track position as a lot of cars have been shuffled throughout the grid. Scott Wimmer also out of this race. So is Jimmy Johnson from Rick that we missed. Jimmy Johnson, Scott Wimmer, Earnhardt are all out of the race. Johnson and Earnhardt were good cars. And oh no, the 99 of Carl Edwards, the rookie, having a really good run today. Leading laps at the front gets collected in the Cincinnati as Marlin gets turned right into Carl Edwards. Collects Robbie Gordon, Todd Bodine, and Jeff Burton. Casey Mears involved as well. There's nowhere to go as Marlin just turned Biffle down the track. Biffle saves it. Marlin Edwards do not. They collect the 7, the 31, the 41. The 50 gets a bit of damage as well. Carl Edwards got the worst of that for sure. We'll see if he'll be able to continue. I believe he will be able to. As we make our way here down three and four, everyone's making it safely down the back stretch, but the wreck starting to really kick off a little bit of wreck fest going on here at Atlanta. Is that the front at the line? Your race leader is going to be Joe Nemechek by a hair over Kevin Harvick. And now Greg Biffle leads the way here in the last lap of stage one here at Atlanta. Looking to bring home his third stage win of the season. Besides that, of course, that stage sweep at California that propelled him to that top, the, to have the most stage wins in the series right now. Then Brian Vickers right behind him in second, the sophomore season for Vickers. Of course, got his first career win last year at Bristol. Uh, the Bristol Night Race uh, got him into the playoffs. That was the first round exit. He's trying to get another win here today. But Greg Biffle will hold on to win stage one at Atlanta. Vickers is second. Sadler third. Riggs is fourth. Mike Bliss fifth. Carl Edwards sixth. Nemechek seventh. Mears eighth. Harvick ninth. And the last stage point goes to the 11 of Jason Leffler. So, Greg Biffle wins stage one here at Atlanta. Now we get back underway on lap 140. It is Vickers and Sather the front row, followed by Mears, Gordon, Leffler, and Harvick. Only eight cars on the lead lap. So, we're going back to We're So, there's already a caution. Something has already happened behind us. Looks like Ken Schrader was involved. So, on the restart, maybe one of those good old better cautions glitches they started seeing. Yeah, Joe Nemechek and Ken Schrader's phased together. Look how high in the air Ken Schrader's bumper just went. And Dave Blaney had nowhere to go and just ran right into him. So, Ken Schrader's toast. He's out. So is the 77 of Travis Quaffle, your Daytona 500 champion. So, now we get back underway. Lap 196. Elliot Sadler is leading. Brian Vickers second. Mike Bliss in third. With Casey Mears and Jeff Gordon behind. Greg Biffle pitted. He's at the back. He's actually falling a lap down for being the stage one winner. Some unfortunate strategy has trapped him and Carl Edwards and a bunch of other drivers' laps down. They have not been able to recover yet. See a really tight race in here mid pack. Casey Kane, Dale Jarrett. There's Shane Meal racing. Dave Blaney and Kyle Bush three wide. Three wide just does not work. Here. And there they go again. There goes Meal. He gets turned around by Newman right into the pack. Hits Jeff Burton. Robbie Gordon collected. Into the wall goes Shane Meal. And the caution will come out once again. And oh, big damage to Matt Kenseth. And he gets drilled by Ricky Rudd as well. Looks like what happened to Kenseth. Is as Meal comes up the track, he hits Burton, who clips Kenseth, gets him slammed to the outside wall. Schrader sends Kenseth around right into the path of Ricky Rudd, head on it, gonna knock Matt Kenseth out of this race. And all of a sudden, Roush Racing is starting to drop like flies, looking like the best team today. They got barely anybody left in contention as Brian Vickers 
is now leading this race looking for career win number two. This could be his day. How about Mike Bliss? The same thing in second. Elliot Souther trying to rekindle last season's success. Running it third. A big trouble. There's Souther and Casey Kane have wrecked under caution down the back straightaway. What in the world has happened here? It looks like Sadler uh, and Mike Bliss, I think everyone was checking up to get down to pace car speed. And Sadler was right on Mike Bliss's quarter panel as they're checking up. So he bumps Mike Bliss, turns him around, collects himself, who gets hit by Casey Mears. Sadler slams the wall hard and bang, nowhere for Casey Kane to go. Huge damage to the nine of Casey Kane. He's going to be done for the day after having a winning a car capable of winning. Casey Kane is now all of a sudden completely destroyed and all three Everham cars are out of contention. Wow, what a turn of events here in Atlanta. It is all kicking off now. And now we move on to the last lap of Stage 2 as Brian Vickers will win Stage 2 here at Atlanta. Jeff Gordon will be in second. Hendrick won two. Bliss will be third. Fourth, uh, Scott Ra sorry, Casey Mears. Fifth is going to be the 38 Sather. Leffler sixth. And then Harvick, Mayfield, Kyle Busch, and McMurray, the top ten. Uh, sorry, rather Riggs, Kyle Busch, McMurray, the top 10. So Vickers, your stage two winner here at Atlanta. Now back underway in the final stage with 119 laps to go. The Hendrick duo of Vickers and Gordon leads the green flag. Gordon trying to get his first one since New Hampshire last year and problems already. Greg Biffle and Ricky Rudd again. We have a wreck on the restart. This time it wasn't really a phase together thing. It's just Ricky Rudd gets turned instantly by Biffle hard to the outside wall. Both cars. Ricky Rudd having a horrible start to the year and Greg Biffle just... This race not going the way you want to. Now, here we are. White flag in the air. Final lap presented by Credit One Bank at Atlanta for Brian Vickers. He has dominated this race and looks well on his way to his first win of the season, making it 300 cars with a win. It will be career win number two, backing up that Bristol Night Race win from last season. The only other car in the lead lap is Jason Leffler, 20 seconds behind. As we're three and four for the final time here at Atlanta after a wild race with tons of wrecks, Brian Vickers will win at Atlanta. He is back in the playoffs. Career win number two. And here's Jeff Gordon coming through to finish in third place. Behind him, you got Mike Bliss, who ends up in fifth. You got Scott Riggs there, who ends up sixth. You got Elliot Sather coming home in fourth. Behind him, all the way back here, the, you got Jason Leffler coming home in second place. A career best finish for him. And then you also got Jeff Burton, Ryan Newman back here, Marlon, Jeff Green, Kyle Busch finishes the race in ninth, Biffle in 10th. So in the end, it is Vickers getting a second career win here at Atlanta, and 300 cars have now won the season as he joins his teammates Jimmy Johnson and Kyle Busch. The only one who has not won yet is Jeff Gordon. So you see the final race results there on the left side of your screen, and you will see the updated playoff grid momentarily. Now the really updated playoff grid, of course, Vickers joins his teammates in the playoffs as our fifth different winner now through five races. Greg Biffle, Jeff Burton, Tony Stewart, all very strong starts the season on points, looking pretty comfortable. So is Mike Bliss, Kevin Harvick, Jeff Gordon, doing pretty good to start their season off. Then you got Mark Martin, Ryan Newman, Jamie McMurray, Dave Blaney, and Carl Edwards in that bubble area just above that cut line. The first couple guys below being Bobby Hamilton Jr., Jason Leffler, Joni Machek, Kyle Petty, and Matt Kenseth. So until the next episode of the 2005 season. I hope you all have a good one.